Yo! What's up, everybody? Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. It is about that time to get our eBay break started for the day. Uh, it's our only eBay break for the day. It is 2019 Top Stadium Club Baseball. Four box break, number one. Let's do it. All right. Now, hold on. What is this? So what is this? Okay, so that's trash. Well, I do want to show you this, y'all. We have full case breaks of Stadium Club in the store. On our website, ripcitycars.com. I'll drop a link in the chat so you can check us out. New customers to our website save $15 on their first purchase. This only applies to the breaks on our website, ripcitycars.com. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot use those $15 to save uh, on eBay. All right. Truth be told, you're probably already saving a good amount on eBay. It's eBay. So with that being said, what's better than a four-box break of Stadium Club? How about a 12-box, a 16-box full-case break of Stadium Club? All right. Check us out. We have 10 teams left in the first case. Pretty confident we'll fill that tonight. As soon as all teams sell out, we break on our website. Okay. These breaks come with uh, autos for random hitless spots. So if you don't pull an autograph or a one-on-one -on -one card, you could still win a random autograph. Okay? And we also have some Donruss Elite Football, which also came out today. So uh, definitely check out our website, RipCityCards.com. Like I said, new customers to our website save $15 off their first purchase. All you have to do is register for an account. Once you do that, you can either send me an email or, you know, let me know in the chat. Hey, dude, I registered. I'll then add the $15 to your account so you can save some monies. All right. That's it for that shameless plug. Let's uh, see what wonders are to be had in Stadium Club. Just gonna get the top four boxes here. Alrighty. There's two on card autos in every box. There's a box topper too. I'll do the box topper at the end. Let me look one thing up real quick. need to know the variations so I'm gonna put a link of this on the YouTube chat so that link that's in the chat just now it is the variations in this set you know this set is known uh, for its pictures and stuff like that but there are variation uh, there are variations Variations and in, in uh, numbers 805, base numbers and in 768. Can't really see it that well, but the last three numbers are 768. That means it's a base card. If it if it ends in 805, that's how you know it's a variation. Now, sometimes the front image is, uh, difference is easy to spot, but, you know, the code on the back is the surefire way to know what the variations are. The most surefire way to know if it's a variation, again, is the code. 805 at the back of the card, but you can look at the front 
and usually tell like if they're out of uniform or for example Max Scherzer who's a pitcher the variation of him is you know when he's at bat uh, but usually if they're out of uniform or if they're in warm-ups or something like that uh, that's usually a, a, a good way of telling that it's a variation but let's see what we can find here good luck y'all I'm probably gonna take a little time with this because these cards are super sweet a little Pee Wee Reese these are just all base cards a bit annoying that they're not facing the right direction there is the black uh, variation there the on the name There's the red variation. For Bryce Wilson of the Braves here. Not numbered. Mariano Rivera, Yankees, Chrome. Moncada of the White Sox. None of these are variations. This is my first look at this uh, product. So that's why I'm a little... Uh, careful here kill brew that's kind of cool that's just a base card those variations are going to be tough to catch I tell you Cool looking pictures though. Still haven't hit an autograph. Maybe this one? Nope, 768. That's just a base card. Man, these variations are going to be tough to catch, man literally have to look at the back of the card to be sure you know usually I have a good eye for it but Stadium Club is one of those products that's not that easy Nick Martini I could sure use a martini for the A's with the red foil there Pictures are cool though, I will say. Well, so that's just a base card, but it looks like a variation. Now there's an autograph. Let's get to that. Ted Williams, red foil for the Red Sox. On card auto for the Braves, Mike Fultinowix. There you go, John. At least you hit an auto here. On card auto, too. Always nice. So no black foil twins. If this is not a variation, I don't know what is. It's not. Wow. Matt Kemp. Code 768 for the Reds. And he's not even in uniform. Muncie Dodgers red uh, foil. Uh, 
I wonder how Big Poppy is doing. There's some craziness going on out there in the Dominican Republic. Red foil for Rizzo the Cubs. That's a cool looking picture. And it's just a base card. Yeah, that's, that's going to make it tough to catch him, Billy. Met Rosario Mets, red foil. Like I said, usually if they're like out of uniform or something like that, like in their warm-ups or something like that, that's how you can tell if it's a variation. But this year, they said, nah, player. We're going to make you work for it. You're going to have to look at that back of the card. Look for that code. Brandon Emo Mets, red foil. Autograph for David Fletcher, rookie for the Angels. And do hard Yankees. So from what I can tell, not a single variation there. And I pretty much checked the back of the cards. Almost all of them. I'll open up the box toppers last, the box loaders, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, on Cardboard Connection, they got some pictures uh, as far as the variations and stuff. Not all of them, but they do have some. So if you click on that link that I put in the chat, you'll see some of the variations and what they look like. Football's almost here, 70 days away. I can't wait. College football's right around the corner, too. I'm very excited to see what the new look Miami Hurricanes are going to look like this year under our new head coach, Manny Diaz. A Miami boy through and through. see what we got in here though we got Lariano of the A's red uh, foil Blackman of the Rockies chrome That's kind of funny. Stanton with the Yankees with his old team logo on the back. Pictures are really cool in this set. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Cool picture of Koufax. Cal Ripken Jr., the Orioles red frame. Hank Aaron, 
of the Braves. Refractor Mojo. Clemente. With the horses in the back. That's kind of pimp. On that old town road. Foil, Corbin Burns, Brewers, Lariano of the A's with an autograph. What the heck? That's just a base cover. That's cool, man. Or see the Brewers with the black foil. Pedroia Red Sox. I'm sorry, yeah, with the red foil. What up, JMS? Billy Hamilton, Royals, Red Foil. Uh, dude, this is the very first look of, of this that I have, man. We haven't done anything for the store. This is an eBay break right now. Cool looking pictures, though. We'll see that. But how the hell, how the hell is that a base card? He's not in uniform. He's not even on the field. Ozzy Smith and the Cardinals, but it's a base card. Man, variations are going to be tough to catch. Unless you look at the code on the back of the card. That's the only surefire way to know. Code 805 is uh, what we're looking for. Yep, code 805. Just had to make sure. Cool pictures, though. I will say that. The members only makes Muncie Dodgers. Little Vladdy there. Mondesi of the Royals. That's a cool picture. But guess what? It's a base card. <laughs> Variations are what one in a hundred a pack, like one in every hundred packs or something like that. Ooh, of uh, redemption. In eBay breaks, everything ships. Billy Williams as the Dio Twins red foil. Uh, Stephen Tarpley with the base card auto redemption. In our eBay breaks, everything ships, Billy. Uh, and make sure you read the description as well, because we all, you know, we usually state on there what ships and what doesn't. Uh, but as far as our our store breaks are concerned, veteran base cards do not ship. All right, Tarpley is a Yankee, so this card goes to the Yankees. the redemption here oh 
Billy, I guess you didn't catch it the first time, but store breaks, dude. We do not ship veteran base cards. Like, that's just, for, as a rule of thumb, Billy, we do not ship veteran base cards. And like I said, you can always go to our site, click on the break, and we, we state so right there in the description. Yeah, rookies always ship. Rookies, you know, variations, short prints, inserts, parallels, of course. That stuff always ships. But in sets like Stadium Club, Bowman Draft, or Bowman, you know, just in general, the base cards, the veteran base cards do not ship. And again, like I said, just read the description, man. So there's about two short prints per case. Uh, as far as the variations are concerned in this stuff. So the chances of us pulling a variation in a four box break are mm, not that good. Yeah, Billy, I'm going to need you to do some reading, bro brother. And you can always ask me, of course. But, uh, yeah. I'd much rather you you read. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. You should always read the description of eBay breaks, though. Regardless, you know you you never know what you're gonna get yourself into. So whether it's with us or someone else, always read the description. Lester, the Cubs, Black Foil. There's a lot of sneaky people out there. Freeman of the Braves Red Foil. A Snell Rays Refractor. see this stuff then I'll get used to seeing the pictures and whatnot but this is my very first look at Stadium Club so I'm being super cautious Dude, I can't tell you how many horror stories there are on eBay. Simply because people were just too lazy and did not read the description. It's actually quite hilarious. Chris Taylor of the Red Sox, Red Foil. I follow uh, like the scammers page that's on Facebook. And the stories that I read on there entertain me to know to no end and not for nothing it, it, it's mostly just negligence on on people's behalf like they just did not read the description and the description clearly states you know something and then you know they get pissed off when you know they actually get that like oh it's, it's, I don't know. it's just it's funny to me Mancini the Orioles red foil like I'll give you a specific example once I'm done with this uh, Daryl Strawberry on card auto for the Mets Number 10 of 10. Very nice. I got you, Billy. Whoa, another autograph here. Reese McGuire. With the rookie autograph for the Blue Jays. But, like, I was reading something. It was actually today, I think. Earlier today... It was like a, I forget the name of the player, but uh, the picture 
was the card in a PSA slab, right? And then the guy's like, oh, you know, I bid on this, and this is what I actually got. You know, he, he got the card, but it wasn't in a slab. It wasn't in the PSA slab. Mustaska's Brewer's black foil. So then the dude goes, you know, he, he, he posts on the scammer page. He's like, oh, you know, don't do any business with this guy because, you know, look, look at what he shipped me. And look at the picture that he took. And then somebody, like, responded to him and was like, dude, you didn't read the description, did you? And he's like, no. And then he posted, like, uh, Homeboy posted, like, a screenshot of the description. And the description clearly said, will not ship in a slab. Like, it's, it's just a card, not going to ship in a slab. Like, the card is not slabbed. So... Sometimes all you gotta do is read. It's really that easy. Heavy buyers of the Cubs red foil. So dude had to eat that one. There's some shady stuff that happens on the internet. So you should you should always always read. Reading is power. Reading is knowledge. I uh, appreciate that, JMS. But I already I already got that. In Ciarte of the Braves to Red Foil, so maybe that'll help someone else. But uh, I'm fully aware of the variations. There's about two per case, code 805. But I appreciate you, JMS. Thank you, Rick. Thank you anyway. I'm sure someone else will appreciate it too. Gary Sanchez, Yankees Red Frame. Or Red Foil, I'm sorry. A Mike Trout to 50 power zone insert angels. Very nice. Like, how is that not a variation? Like, he's in a, he's not even playing baseball. He's in a vet. Oh, man. Gotta love the stadium club. Really cool pictures in this stuff. Yeah, again, JMS, I I got it already. <laughs> I I got it, dude. Thank you. Chris Taylor Dodgers uh red foil. I'm pretty good at using the Google, JMS. You know, do not underestimate my Google skills. Yeah, dude, there's there's a lot of scumbags that do very shady stuff on, on eBay. It's it's just it's ridiculous. You know, Beckett has some of them. I don't think they have all of them though. As far as the variations in pictures, uh, I don't see the Tatis Jr. on there, or maybe it is on there, and I'm just not looking hard enough. But either way, JMS, thank you, my man, appreciate you. This is the fourth box. Let's see what we got. 
Good luck, y'all, especially those without a hit. Black Foil, Kinsler, Padres. O'Hearn, Royals, Red Foil. Stanton, Yankees, Refractor. Roger Maris, that's a cool picture. The Babe, that's cool. That's a base card. But I, you know, I find myself just looking at the back of the card, trying to get familiar with this stuff. Aaron of the Braves, red foil. Not even the Tucson, not even in uniform. Man, they're making you work for the variations this year, boy. Gregorius of the Yankees, red uh, foil. Odubel Herrera, Phillies autograph. Pictures are pretty awesome, I will say that. And there's box topper autos, too. And that even the curtain calls it. That's a base card too. Dang. Dude's warming up. It's a base card. <laughs> McCullers Jr. Astros Black Foil. Barry Larkin. Refractor for the Reds. You know, anything that I thought I knew about variations and stuff like that is just out the window now with this set. Fletcher of the Angels, Red Foil. And how is that not a... Whatever. And the last of it. I'm going to have to study that link you dropped, JMS. So I can burn those images into my mind. Mullins of the Orioles, Red Foil. Otherwise, oh, we found one. This is a variation right there. Kyle Tucker Astros code 805. That is a variation. So we found one in this uh, four box break. Not bad at all, considering there are roughly two per case. Not bad. Good eye, Billy. Good eye. Scherzer Nationals, red for uh, red foil. Nick Martini, A's autograph.
the box. All right, that's going to do it for that. But let's see what's in these box toppers. We got four of them. I saved these for last. Let's see what we got. Dang, I'll try to keep this intact if I can. We got Altuve. You know, fix this so you can see a little bit better. Altuve, Astros box topper. Chris Bryant of the Cubs. If you can get like one of these dudes to sign it, these box toppers, that'd be pretty cool to add to the collection. The PC. Oh, Billy, you got me beat, man. So if you see me pass a variation or something, let me know. Scherzer. Nationals. And we got one more. Let's see what we got. We got Cal Ripken Jr. Orioles. Right around that Corvette. This is a fact, J Mess. That is a fact. Alright, so let's recap here. Starting with. Kyle Tucker Astros, that's a short print, or a variation, I should say, code 805. Uh, Martini, A's, Herrera, Phillies, McGuire for the Blue Jays, Laureano for the A's, Fletcher, Angels, Fultinowicz, Braves, and Daryl Strawberry of the Mets, number 10 of 10. And there's also a, a redemption base card autograph of Stefan Tarpley of the Yankees. And that's the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it up.